American? <laughs> oh my god, you scared the shit out of me, you little bitch. Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing really well. So, we are going to be playing a game today called Ghost of Tomorrow. This was on Steam. It was pretty cheap, so I thought I would get it. Try it out. It rings a bell. I don't know if I've done, like, the demo or something to this before. Um, but apparently it's chapter one, so we'll start a new game. Uh, WSD, uh, F for flashlight, and left click to interact. Okay. No run, which is always <laughs> good to my. Um. Uh, hi Amanda, how's college? Hey mom, it's great. Sorry. Uh, how's your roommate Gail? He said, uh, really? You, I didn't think you were allowed to have like male roommates. Uh, he seemed a bit strange when I met him. I don't like you sharing the apartment with a stranger. Uh, you know, he's fine, mum. We get along really well. Even take some classes together. Gotta go. Okay, be safe. Okay. Gail. Um, nice car. Okay, Ghost of Tomorrow, Chapter One. Molly Media, Radio, Telephone. August the 23rd, 2019, 8.50pm. It's gonna be something out the window, right? Gotta check my mirrors. My mirrors are like, all dark. New voice message oh, received oh. from Gail. Oh, I do play. New voice message from Gail. Hey, Amanda. I was thinking maybe we should get together on the weekend to study for Monday's exam. I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could go to a coffee place and... Gail? Gail? <laughs> okay. Less scary than I thought. Gail wanted to go on a date. Damn it, Gail! What you call me for when you know I'm driving? Wait, what do I do? Do I check out the person in the middle of the road? I am the leg woman. Oh, oh look! Wait, it was us. Look at our hair. We have. Are we, we in a dress? Oh, look at us. Wait, okay. So it was us in the middle of the road. I'm getting in the car. Why did I get out of the car just to get back in the car? I mean, the the person in the middle of the road literally looked identical to it. I mean, we made it back. Oh, so we have a cool apartment. Block. We park our car. That's a neat parking, the Oh my girl, whatever. Why are we so slow? Hello? Is this Gail's car? Gail got a big car. <laughs> so. <laughs> Does it matter what elevator I take? Oh, flashy, flashy. Oh! Um. Okay, I. Okay, I don't like that. If something runs at me, I swear. Gail? Why is that light on? Wait, why is the light on? Why, why? You've left your rear lights on, my dude. Well, this elevator is not made for more than, like, what, two people? <laughs> Where am I going? Does it matter? Second floor? Yeah, you left your lights on. I apologize as well if you guys can hear the fan. I'm gonna be probably saying that a lot in the videos lately because it's far too freaking warm and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm not a I'm not a hot weather fan. Wait, we literally have two apartments on one floor. Me? Okay. Good job I went to the right one. <laughs> the other one was blocked by a caution white floor sign. So. Okay. Uh, there's been strange things going on tonight. Must be tired. Gonna go to bed and get some sleep. A 
forgot our name. Yeah, this rings a bell. Um, I swear I played like the demo for this or something, and it turned out uh, Gale must be resting in his room. I shouldn't bother him. Oh, so that's Gale's room. Yeah, I remember this. Um, it's like we die or something. I mean, for enough students or like a freaking apartment as to what this is, a it's pretty freaking neat for students and B 23rd Friday it's pretty big oh sugar me said we got the bathroom bathroom light is out again okay yeah we'll just freaking leave that shut then so I get this room nice it's pretty freaking big for a damn student apartment thing Normally, the rooms would be like this size and then you'd have to like share a bathroom or whatnot, no. I didn't even drink my coffee before I went. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Okay, let's uh, go to sleep then. Something seriously wrong with me. I honestly can't remember actually the last time I had a coffee. Which is bad because I really do like coffee. Hello? Gail, what are you waking me up for? 9-12, swipe up. How do I swipe up? Ah! Hello? Okay, crap. <laughs> oh my god, you scared the shit out of me, cool. Uh, okay, drive set. Amanda, are you coming home? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. Okay, that's my mom. 25th, 28th, from oh my goodness, mommy, I'm so sorry. I think I'm dead. Bathroom lights out still. Gail, can you get the door, please? I'm coming, Jesus. Oh, that's bright. Gail? No. What was a note? Mysterious stranger. Gail, it's me, Martha. Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for days. Please, if you know anything, call me. Do I have to call... Mama, mummy, mama, mummy. Gail, I'm here. Gail must be resting. What the heck is that noise? We are so dead. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, we did. It was us. We run ourselves over. This definitely rings a bell. I think I did the demo to this or something before. Um, Amanda Graham, missing. That is me. That is my beautiful face. I'm going to sneeze. Okay. Yep. I sneezed. Cool. Gail, are you crying? Oh, Gail. I'm so sorry. I died. Did Gail kill me? I think Gail killed me, no? Oh, heck. Na, 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 na. Is that me banging on the door because... Oh, I don't like this. Wait. Oh! Oh, hell no. Nah. Are we dead in the tub? I swear we're... Okay, so I do have... I swear we're like dead in the tub. Gail, are you messing with me? Gail, Gail, Gail. Oi, oi, oi. Mom, I'm here. <laughs> Help. Why is it flashing in the bathroom? Do I have to go in here again? Oh wait, all the days are crossed off. So days are still going past. We're haunting the apartment because we're dead. And Gail still hasn't cleaned up the peaches or the Chinese food. 
Oh, I could eat Chinese food right now. Mm -mm -mm. Right, okay. Mrs. Student- Oh, body found stabbed by roommate. Alleged killer turned himself to the police. Why did he kill me? Uh, Amy Holland, Amanda's closest friend, informed. Amanda and Gail were good friends. I was shocked when I heard the news. Martha Graham, Amanda's mother, expressed, I'm devastated. I should have done something to avoid this. Uh, now my baby is gone. Police found no previous convictions in Rogers' records. Charged with murder and hiding a corpse for which he will face court. I fucking hope so. Um, 24 was arrested. Body found. Ew! No, I'm sorry. I can. I can. I can. I can. Body found in crawl space hidden behind a false wall inside closet of Mr. Rogers' room. That's freaking disgusting and insane and horrible and awful and that's like super duper gross. Oh my goodness, is that me on the floor? Hell, why wasn't the flashlight working? Do I have the flashlight? Oh, I do have the flashlight in my hand. Dude, I don't like that. That's disgusting. Like, crawl spaces? Why do you guys spit toothpaste all over your sink? What is wrong with you that you feel the need to spit toothpaste all the way up there? Yeah, that's me! I know how you feel, love. We got stabbed by a guy that we fancied. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why does it sound like that? I'm uh. like struggling to breathe. So, a crawl space? No, 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 no. It's like, it's something that really creeps me out of. Like, American- <laughs> Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me, you little bitch. Um, like, American houses and British houses are built- Oh, fuck no. <laughs> are built very differently. Um, and I, like, in American homes, from what I know or whatever, there's like a lot of, like, gap between the walls. Like, crawl spaces or like whatever and that kind of just like really creeps me the heck out as well as a lot of like horror films like they have like the crawl spaces and the cool places crawl spaces are where like the creepy shit goes down like that's just horrifying no hello dude why isn't the flashlight working in here okay okay gail are you in here because your room feels awfully small because I can't do anything. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. But does that say rate? No fate. Are we going to a summer fate? No fate. No fate. Oh goodness. I've got to open all of them. Ugh. Why? What's with the loud slam? So did he stab me in his room? Did he stab me in the bathroom? I want to know where the heck I was killed. Do I have to go in one? Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, in loving memory of Amanda Graham, 1997 to 2019. Oh, she was only young. I wish I was born in year, the year 2000. Imagine how cool that would be. I kind of, I don't know if it would be cool or not, but just be like, it'd be so easy to remember. Oh yeah, I was born in the year 2000. <laughs> Why do you slam like that? No fate. Okay, so do I have to go inside a room? Boom! Oh look, there we are! In a pretty dress that we died in, no doubt. Did we actually go for a dinner date? Sugar, hi girl. My love, me, my future self, my arm. My future self, my future, yeah. Do I have to find a key? I 
I think I just have to keep going through doors, to be honest, and I don't think it really matters what door. No, yeah. Okay. Uh, Gail Rogers send. Oh my god, is that actually a picture? Uh, the two 25, 25 years, is that it? He murdered somebody and he's not even going to get life. Pleads guilty. Uh, police found Rogers' writings what, raging about society and loneliness. Prosecutor says he was romantically obsessed with Amanda. Doesn't mean you get to kill her. Because you're romantically obsessed with her. If I was romantically obsessed with someone, I don't think I'd want to kill them. I know it's a bit bizarre, but okay. Each to their own. Boom. But now I hear someone freaking breathing. He's going to jump out, isn't he? More and more doors are getting bloody, so I think I just have to keep going through them. Let's go through this one. Oh, is that... Oh! Gail! Right, did you... Did you... Kill me? Oh, Gail. We could have got married, but you decided to obsess over me and kill me. And maybe I loved you back, but, you know. Maybe I had... Oh, God, he's freaking behind me. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I do not like the... <sighs> Breathing behind me. <laughs> no, thank you. Like someone is just like breathing down your neck. Like, <sighs> no. Do not like. Throughout history, people have experienced the supernatural event of a time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or group of people travel back in time through supernatural ways, not technological like a time machine. This happens because time is not linear or fixed as we perceive it. Time is fluid, but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was shopping with his wife and they decided to split up. Frank went to the record store and she went to Dylan's bookshop. As he walks towards the store, a 1950s van with the name Kaplan's on the side crossed in front of him. He saw that Dylan's bookstore now had a Crips signage. The shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around and everyone around him were all dressed in the fashions from the 1950s. But bizarrely, a young woman walked past him with a popular purse from the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Frank followed that woman into the store and the store turns back into a bookstore. She told Frank she too had thought the store was a clothes shop. It was later proven that Crips and Kaplan's were actual local businesses from Liverpool during the 50s. Frank did not only travel back in time, he was standing right between both 1950s and 1996. These experiences are real. The universe works in mysterious and inexplicable ways. However, the true cause of time slips remains unknown. Okay, that's a true story, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, kind of horrifying. Ugh. Okay, more and more rooms are getting all bloody. So that's what we're in, we're in a time slip. What is this? Stop. The. Madness. I've only got two more doors to go, oh, three more doors. Oh, sugar, I'm sorry, girl. Okay, I will try my best. I will try my best to make sure that you do not die, okay? Or do I have one more door? Yeah, I do have one door. So, no fate. Does that mean that it's not guaranteed to happen? Can we stop it from happening? Maybe we just don't drive home. Maybe we just... I'm kind of scared in here. 
No fake. Can I go back the other way? Oh, shit. Fuck you. Okay. Please don't end it there. If you end it there, I'm going to be really annoyed. Uh, I am back at home. Was it all just a nightmare? So, we know that he's going to kill us. Wait, what, 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 what? This apartment is so different. Is my roommate an alcoholic? I freaking hate football. Why am I watching football? Do you want to like this does not go with the decor. Just <laughs> sorry. This is new. Is this like a half stool? Is that ketchup and mustard? Wine sinking into the counter. Yeah, are we still up. Amanda. Okay. Maybe. Is somebody dying? I mean, there's a new look. Oh, it looks like a comfy sofa, though. Please don't tell me. Oh, great. Can I turn it off? <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, that is me. So how do I stop this? Do I not go to college? Is that how I stop getting murdered? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this house with a bathroom. Hmm, so <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Is that what House Flipper was? Just like a room designer? Oh my god. Dude, did you really have to be in here? And why is there no window for the bathroom? I don't want to go in here. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. The doctor has told me that writing my thoughts is therapeutic and might help with the trauma. How much more can I handle? After losing my daughter to a murderer, which itself is a horrible tragedy, my husband has been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him and understandably so. I myself feel devastated too. However, I try to move forward in life with him and my son, Dylan. Of course, the death of his sister has, um, has also affected Dylan uh, gravely. Especially for a young 18 year old boy, but at least I still feel he is around me, unlike my husband. He tries his hardest to give emotional support to the, uh, this family, still my son's behaviour has also changed. I quite don't know how to put it, but something about him is different. Is he going to go after Dylan and kill? Uh, I fear my husband could... I'll be back to alcohol addiction aside from being absent in our family's life. Now he seems to be drowning his sorrows with alcohol like he once used to. Uh, this once old habit which he had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage, now has crept in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction and other mental illness. Uh, I'm really worried for him. I don't know what to do. He barely talks to me and we need... Uh, uh, and when we do, it's just arguing. We argue about what happened to Amanda. He gets mad at me because he thinks I'm insane. He doesn't believe me when I say, when I say it, when I say something about our daughter's murder wasn't right. I know that somehow uh, she knew that she was in trouble. We could have done something to stop it. I mean, maybe you're not wrong. Maybe you're not wrong. I don't like it. Okay, so this is my... Dylan! How you doing, bruh? Oh! Bruh. My brother isn't no more. <laughs> uh, so today I found out my son's do oh, doing drugs great. Uh, I think that the Gale, that Gale monster not only killed our daughter but killed each one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in this family and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot uh, of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him, but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I am not uh, one to transfer my depression into substance abuse. 
that's just not the way I taught to confront things in life in my house. I try to keep my faith in God and I find some peace within him. Uh, I'm only here trying to keep this family together, break it apart. Okay. That's cool. Turn down the note. Can I find your stash, Dylan? The Uncertain. Wasn't that a game? 35mm. That is a game. That doors is a game. What is that one? I don't know. Um, can I touch this? No? Okay. Let's go check out the parents' bedroom. Hi, Mom! Hi, Mom! Oh, Mom. Well, the, do the parents get the smallest room? <laughs> Wait, I could touch something. Um... Sometimes, oh sorry, I sometimes go into Amanda's room and try to find some comfort. Being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also hear mysterious footsteps, footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her, her spirit following me. I need that. Okay. This is a nice, like, little apartment, though. I wouldn't mind it. Wait. Why is Amanda's room so big? Surely this should be... This should, this should definitely have been the parents' bedroom. And this is a nice bed. That is a nice, like, bed and headboard. She got a massive... What the heck? Bitch got luxury? <laughs> uh, I spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda. And of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He is afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. We've been discussing a divorce. He says being around the house makes him more depressed. Um, he rented an apartment for himself and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My boy Dylan is also barely around. His drug addiction has taken a t toll on him. Oh, sorry. Why does the mirror get foggier the closer you get to it? Yeah, do I honestly get my own bathroom? Like, is that what this is? Do I get to sleep? No. And, okay. Oh, we do go. I get my. No, I'm sorry. This would totally be the parents' bedroom. Totally be the parents' bedroom. Oh, heck. I have pills. Can I turn the flashlight on, please? I gotta find a way to get out. Okay. What? Out of my parents' house? I was, but then I died, so I think it's best we just stay here. <laughs> So, do we take the pills? Do we smash the mirror? Do we lotion our hands? Put the lotion on the skin or you get the whole skin. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh dear. Dylan, are you in here? Oh, I've got to find keys to all the doors. I swear, Dylan. If you're messing with me, bruh. Okay, so I have to find another key. But the question is, is the key... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, bitch, don't do it. Swear I don't have time for that. Okay, nothing in there. If she catches you too many times, is it like game over? Cause I think she's gonna catch me. Okay, I can't open those. Oh wait, okay, the bed, the bar, the the, 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 the parents' bedroom does open. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, how much longer? How much longer? Do I have to save my parents? How much longer? 
Uh, will it ever stop? Stop the madness. Stop the madness. I can't. How much longer? Oh, okay. Can I just find a key? Okay, yeah, there we go. Now, is this to the front or is this to like Dylan's bedroom or something? Oh, no. Did he come here and kill everyone or did my dad kill everyone? Uh, father of murdered roommate commi- Oh no, why? Oh hello. Ew. Wait. What is happening? So kind of like a, a series of unfortunate events type thing. So we sort of dipped our toe into what is going to happen. I'm guessing. Amanda, can you read my texts? Uh, yes, what's wrong? I can't believe this. This is unreal. Uh, is it really you, Amanda? Oh, it's the 31st again. Uh, what's going on? Uh, you were gone. I thought I would never speak to you again. Christ, uh, I was at your funeral, but I finally found you. I can't believe I'm speaking to you. Mum, you're insane. <laughs> Wait, no. Have you crashed? Oh, thank you for playing Ghost of Tomorrow Chapter 1. Okay, so. Maybe, was it the mother that was, like, dreaming of it? Or like in this alternate uh, reality, I guess, type thing. Or a, what do they call it? I can't remember what they called it. One sec. Like a glimpse of yet to what is yet to happen or whatnot. So it was either the daughter that was going for it or the mother. But we were playing as the daughter. So maybe if they bring out a chapter two, we will obviously see what happens. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I definitely, the whole thing rings a bell. I'm pretty sure I played the demo before because I remember the same apartment from the beginning. And then I believe we found the body or whatever in the bathroom or something or the other. And like we were missing and stuff. But the whole like crawl space stuff just, it, no, no, no. It just freaks me the frick out to think about it like this is kind of horrifying anyway that was the game a ghost of tomorrow chapter one so thank you all so so much for watching this episode and this video i hope you enjoyed it hit the like button leave comments please don't forget to subscribe if you are new i would love to see you around on the channel also please leave comments and hit the like button and if you did enjoy it i really do appreciate everything you guys do to support me and i will see you all in the next video take care bye Thank <laughs> you.